Hello and welcome to Buzz Plays. Now people subscribe to my channel may be saying to themselves, wait, this isn't your uh, Tech It series. Well, today I thought what I'd do is I'll bring you how to update your Sfax Pure Beadycraft um, with the available mod patches that I've been able to find. Um, basically, I came to this decision because I was watching a couple of the Yogscast videos, um, like their Tech It series, um, Rivian's uh, Tech It series, Duncan and that. And basically, I noticed that all of their texture packs, uh, all of their textures for uh, Sfax uh, Pure Beadycraft was actually up to date. Um, now, I've managed to find most of them, apart from, I believe it's one, maybe two of them. So I thought I'd show you guys where to get them from and also how to actually install them onto the uh, Sfax Pure BDCraft um, texture pack folder. So first off, as you can see here, I've already downloaded them all, all the ones that I could find anyway. Um, and all you, I don't use, uh, in my previous video that I showed you guys how to actually install the Sfax Pure BDCraft, um, I was using um, 7-zip, I believe it was. Um, you can also use uh, WinRAR, and I believe there's a couple of other ones out there to extract the files. Now, I've just decided um, to basically create a new folder on my desktop and actually right-click on them and extract them all into the new folder um, without actually using 7-zip uh, or WinRAR or any ones like that purely because um, I updated my 7-zip and it seemed to bug out and I don't know it just wasn't working when when I would right click on stuff it wouldn't come up saying unzip with 7-zip uh, so I just thought sod it I'll just go and use the standard one which works absolutely fine so as, as I said I've um, got the four mod updates um, already downloaded but basically um, all I did was um, I searched for I believe it was yeah there you go uh, all pure uh, BD craft tech kit updates and it took me to a forum post and then on that forum post it said uh, click here for all the updates and that actually brought me here now I'll put the link into the description at the bottom so you guys can just easily click onto it and um, come onto here. Now, if I scroll down, you guys can see it's got a load of different mods, a uh, load of different texture updates for all the different uh, mods in the game. So you've got your industrial craft, your build craft, forestry cra uh, mod. Um, and basically I just downloaded the ones we needed from here. Um, and for for the textures, I believe the ones that I could find and I knew we needed um, was the I've actually got them on here the nether ores because I noticed that my nether ores didn't update uh, wireless redstone receivers um, there was a couple of the weapons like the spears the maces stuff like that that didn't update. And also CC sensors. So you get most of them through the from here. Um, if we go down, you've got your um, wireless redstone receivers is under red power two. Uh, your nether ores is under power crystal mods. Then if we come down here a little bit more, you've got your CC sensors. And to actually get the weapons upgrade. Um, if you go on to um, bdcraft.net, actually click on um, T, uh, TP patches, scroll down, and under mods officially supported with a patch, you've got the Balkans weapon mod. And that, uh, if you, I've actually got the link here for the Minecraft form page, so I'll give you, I'll link that one into this description as well. And just basically download that one. Um, so that's the four mods that I've uh, been able to find, um, and I believe these are the only ones that I actually needed. Oh no, sorry, there was also the Railcraft one, um, which I haven't actually downloaded yet. So if we go to 
uh, Wellcraft, which should be under R. There you go, Wellcraft. Um, and just basically download this one as well. Um, now I've already got this one uh, installed as well, but I will just show you guys anyway. So as you can see, it's just downloading now. So while that's doing that, what we what I'll do is oh there we go. So there you go, you got your the Wellcraft one there now. So what I'll do is I'll extract this one as well into my new folder that I've created, extract it, and it's in there. So now all you need to do is you go into your Minecraft directory, which is percentage app data percentage or you could um, go into actually launch your tech kit go into textures and do it that way but I just find this a it's not quicker but I just find it easier instead of having to wait for the tech kit launcher to load up so just go into whichever one you've got loaded and I've got the tech kit um, but um, you could have um, technic or the other uh, games, the other uh, game modes that come with the tech launch, uh, Technic launcher, and then go to your um, texture packs. And as you can see, we've already got the Sfax Pure BD Craft actually installed. I've actually updated this as well to the newer one, which was actually a mistake on my part because I've had to delete two of the zombie skins because they were actually bugging out and they were floating heads. So I've had to delete them out sadly, um, but. Um, if you keep with the, um, I can't remember which one it is now, uh, let me just have a quick look. Uh, if you get the, um, that one, uh, MC 1.3.2, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, apparently something about they updated the zombie model um, on Minecraft and it's kind of bugged it out on tech it. Um but yeah like I said I just deleted a couple of the skins out and they s seem to be working fine so as you can see here we've got our, in our new folder we've got the mods that we've downloaded to actually add to the textures so basically I'll just start off with the easy ones first the CC sensors I literally just dragged and dropped into here and as you can see it sat there and that's all you need to do with that one. Code Chicken, which is the wireless redstone. Uh, what I did with this one is now you've got Code Chicken already sat in the texture packs for it file. Is I opened it up and all that I had in mind was Ender Chest and NEI. So I literally opened up that one and dragged and dropped that into this folder. And again, that one works. I will obviously log in so you guys can see this as well. Um, next up, we've got Never Ores or Never and uh, Never Ores, um, which go into the Never Ores folder here. Now, with this one, what instead of actually deleting the Never Ores folder out of here and then dragging this one in, I left the original folder in. I left the original things that were already sat in here and literally just dragged, uh, dragged, highlighted all of these and then dragged and dropped them in. Um, and again, luckily that's worked as well. Um, Wellcraft, now this was a bit more kind of, not hard, but a bit more kind of annoying. Um, because what I had to do here was I didn't bother adding any of these in at all. All I did was grab the track um, one here and dragged it into the textures folder. As you can see, it sat there. Um, basically, I don't really know what was going on. But when I tried just dropping the folder, when I actually just tried dropping the, uh, the Railcraft folder in, um, the rails didn't appear. They literally got rid of every Railcraft mod in there, basically. Um, so literally all I did was I just dra dragged the tracks in, and again, 
it updated all the um, new tracks um, so that's all you need to do with that one so just when you download the Wellcraft one all you need to do is the tracks picture here just drag that into the textures in Wellcraft and that should solve the uh, the default tracks um, into the Svax Pure BDCraft. Now the reason why I've left the weapons mod till last is because this one again was a right pain in the backside. Um, it's actually it took me a while to figure it out. Um, took me about an hour and a half, and it's actually a lot easier than I guess for me is it a lot easier to me for me to show you than trying to work it out off the top of my head of how to do it basically. So for this one, what I did is you got the GUI fo uh, folder and the item folder. Now me, I dragged the actual weapons mod folder in that didn't work I grabbed the pictures grabbed put them into different folders and that didn't work and I just started to lose my temper well the last thing I tried and I thought this isn't going to work but I tried it anyway was I went to the GUI folder actually in the Sfax Pure BDCraft folder and literally if you open up the GUI folder on the mod folder, you can see you've got weapon mod. I literally just drag that folder in to the GUI folder. I then went into the items folder and you've got another weapons mod. So I went and I thought, okay, well, got the you got an items folder in the Sfax Pure BD Craft. I'll drag that one in as well and see if that works. And somehow it worked um, so that's how you get them in um, and they should work what I'll do is I'll load up my tech kit so that you guys can see but that's all you need to do you just download the uh, texture pack or the texture mods that you think that you need to update um, I'll show you the one that I haven't updated hopefully one of you guys might in the comments might be able to tell me actually which one it is I'm missing um, hopefully this won't take too long to load up and I'll go into my test world which is where I test all the machines and stuff before I actually build them in my uh, tech it world um, for my series um, obviously I want to make sure it works stuff works before I uh, record it so hopefully this will be a bit quicker chooses tonight to be slow but yeah like I said I'll add the links into the description for each of these um, and that way you guys can go in and download the ones that you want right so if we go in go into my test world and then hopefully you guys will be able to see that the textures are actually updated um, like I said, I believe they're all updated to the ones that the Yogs Castle got a bar, a bar the one that I can't find. But I'm hoping, like I said, you guys will be able to tell me what the actual mod is so that I can find it. But here we go. This is my little test world. I haven't really done anything in it. I'll just literally create things, destroy it, and here, there we go. But here we go. If we go into our Not Enough Items mod, and you can see obviously these are just all the standard textures for Sfax Pure Beedicraft. But, if I get rid of these a second... You can see here we've got the new updated textures for the nether ores. So you get your coal, your diamonds, gold... Um, I think that is... Iron, lapis, redstone, copper and iron up uh, tin even so you can see they they're actually all updated they actually look really nice um 
if we carry on going down obviously you get your standard ones which you always get and they seem to always work uh, and here's your um, tracks these are the ones that get updated um, so they don't look all pixelated so these were these are the ones that actually get updated once when we pull that track folder and stick it into the well uh, wellcraft folder in the textures so as you can see they're all updated look pretty nice and if we carry on going down um, this is um, for the CC sensors so you get all your sensor cards all your um, transmitters they all end up looking quite nice um, actually no that's not CC sensors is it yeah, no, sorry, that is, yeah, that is CC sensors. Um, and then you've got your wireless, uh, redstone wireless stuff down here. Again, all this has been updated. Um, it looks like the stuff that the guys in the Yogg's Cast use now. Now, this is the ones that I don't know what to find. If you guys can help me out with this, that way I can update it and then show you guys um, where to get it from. That'd be great. Um, so that I can get these looking the same as the rest of this stuff. Um, if we go down one more, as you can see here, these are the spears, the axes, the f uh, flails, um, warhammers. Um, basically, these are all the uh, uh, updated weapon mods from the, um, the skin that I downloaded. Um, so you get your crossbow, um, you get your diamond flail. Um, your diamond warhammers. So you've got your crossbow, which hasn't got any ammo in it yet. Oh, there we go. So you load it up, and then you can shoot it. Which actually killed the dog outright. You got your flail, which kind of looks like a fishing rod. And you've got your Warhammer. Whoa, <laughs> that was cool. So yeah, like I said, that's your all your weapons mods updates, and uh, they look pretty good. You can get your training dummy. There you go. Now let's see what he does on the training dummy. Nothing on the training dummy. Oh. So I think that was it um, for all the updates. Yep, that's all the updates that I've got so far. Like I said, if you give me a hand with this one, that'd be great. Let's just make it daytime. Um, like I said, we've got our CC sensor stuff. Um, got the rail tracks here. Um, and everything else is up to date now. And uh, will actually fit into whatever you're cre creating or you're looking at so hopefully this will help you like I said I'll put the links in the description for you um, and uh, if you haven't if you haven't seen my video on how to actually install Sfax Pure BD Craft then I'll put a link into that as well in the description uh, please uh, go and have a look at that one um, if you don't know how to actually install the texture pack itself um, and yeah hopefully this will help you guys um, please uh, leave a comment if it has helped you or if you need any help trying to figure out stuff you might be stuck on um, hopefully I can get back to you and actually um, help you out um, and please subscribe if this did help uh, it helps me out as well and hopefully then I can bring you guys better content and more content um, so yeah thanks for watching and I will see you all next time